Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to find the charge, the voltage across each capacitor, and the energy on each of the capacitors. Now, that may take a lot of board space, and so we may have to do this in two parts. But first, let's start by trying to find the charge on each of the four capacitors. And to do that, we first must find the total capacitance of the circuit, or the equivalent capacitance. So what we're going to do first is we're going to combine the two in series over here and over here as well. So we'll combine those two into a single capacitor and the new circuit will look as follows. We still have the voltage supply. And so this is the electrical symbol of a voltage supply. We have a single capacitor on the left side now and we'll have a single capacitor on the right side like this. And of course, at that point, we'll combine them again and we'll have then a single capacitor for the whole circuit. But first, since these are in series, we have to use the one over rule or the product over the sum rule. So for the left side here, so for the left, um, we're going to use the product over the sum, so that's 2, times, two uh, times 4 divided by 2 plus 4, so that's equal to 8 over 6, and that would be the equivalent capacitance over here, 8 over 6, and actually that can be simplified to 4 over 3. So we'll go ahead and say, well, we can write this as 4 over 3. We still have a 90 volt source. On the right side, we'll use the product of the sum. So we're going to now find the equivalent capacitor on the right side of that branch. So we have the product 3 times 6 over 3 plus 6. That's equal to 18 over 9. And that comes out to a nice even 2. So we have two microfarad capacitor on the right side. And on the left side, we'll have a uh, four-thirds microfarad capacitor. So we'll just go ahead and simplify it like that. Okay, now we're going to combine these two. And so since those are in parallel, that's easy to do. We simply have to add them. So we go from this circuit to this circuit to the simplified circuit with a single 90 volt supply and a single capacitor. Now the single capacitor is simply going to be the sum of these two, so 2 is the same as 6 over 3 plus 4, which is 10 over 3. So 10 over 3 microfarads is the equivalent capacitance or the total capacitance. So here we can say that this is now equal to 10 over 3 microfarads. So once we've found the equivalent capacitance of the circuit, we can now calculate the total charge. The total charge can be found, so we have Q total, is equal to C total times, um, times the voltage across it. That's right, there we go. So Q is C times V. And since we have the total capacitance or equivalent capacitance, that's 10 over 3 microfarads. Let me turn that into a good looking 3. There we go. Multiply times the voltage source of 90 volts. 3 goes to 90 30 times, so this becomes equal to 30 times 10, or 300 microcoulombs. So that is the total charge on the equivalent circuit, on the equivalent capacitor. So that goes in here, that gives us 300 microcoulombs. Now we have to work our way backwards to determine how much charge it will be on each of these capacitors. So we go from here to there. So we'll write this one down, so this is 300 microcoulombs, which now gets divided into two capacitors side by side, and it'll be proportional to their size. So on the left side, and I'll go ahead and write this in here, so on the left side of the branch, the charge Q on the left side is equal to the total charge Q total times the ratio of the size of this, which is four-thirds divided by the total sum, which is 10 thirds. So basically, the over 3 cancels out, 4, four tenths or 2 fifths of the total capacitance, so that would be 120 microcoulombs. So that's uh, 300 microcoulombs times 4 tenths, which is equal to 120 microcoulombs on the left side, so this capacitor will have 120 microcoulomb of charge. That means the other capacitor has the other 180. Now, just to make sure that we do this right, we will calculate it. So on the right side, the charge 
on the right is equal to the total charge times the ratio of the size, which is 2, divided by the total, which is 10 thirds. And so let's see, that is equal to 300 uh, times the ratio, and that should be microcoulombs, so we'll go ahead and put microcoulombs in there, times 2 divided by 10 thirds. Well, that is the same as saying 300 microcoulombs times 6 over 10. So 6 tenths, that would be 180 microcoulombs. So yes, our guess was correct, that this had to be 180 microcoulombs. Now, how does that charge get divided into the capacitors up here? Well, we know that capacitors in series always have the same capacitance, and the capacitance is always equal to the total, which would be 120 microcoulombs, which means this one has 120 microcoulombs of charge on it, and this one has 120 microcoulombs of charge, and on the right side, this one has 180 microcoulombs and 180 microcoulombs. So now we've determined the charge on each of the capacitors. So now we've done this part. I think the last part that we have room for is to calculate the voltage on each of the capacitors. So let's number them. Let's call this C1, let's call this C2, let's call this one C3, and let's call this one C4. Now we know that the definition of capacitance is equal to the charge divided by the voltage, which means that the equation can be changed into the voltage is equal to the charge divided by the capacitance. So we can do that for each of the four capacitors. So the voltage on the first capacitor is equal to the charge on the first capacitor times the capacitance of the first capacitor. So in this case, Q1, that would be 120 microcoulombs divided by the capacitance of 2 microfarads, which is equal to 60 volts. So let's use a different color. This capacitor has 60 volts across it. Okay, on the second capacitor, and let me use the black color here, on V2, that's equal to Q2 over C2, and the charge on that capacitor is 180 microcoulombs, divided by the capacitance, which is 3 microfarads, and it looks like it also has a voltage across the terminals of 60 volts, so this one, well, I shouldn't write equal because that's not voltage. What I want to do is V1 is equal to 60 volts and V2 is equal to 60 volts. Got to be careful about the notation. All right, now for the third one, V3 is equal to Q3 divided by C3. The charge on the third capacitor is 120 microcoulombs divided by the capacitance is 4 microfarads. And that goes in there 30 times, that would be 30 volts, that would be the voltage across the third capacitor, so we can say that V3 is equal to 30 volts. And finally, the fourth one, that would be V4, is equal to Q4 over C4, Q4 over C4, which is equal to the charge of 180 microcoulombs divided by capacitance of 6 microfarads and that would be equal to 30 volts as well. So the fourth capacitor has V4 is equal to 30 volts. So now we have the voltage across each capacitor and the charge on each capacitor. And since we're out of board space, we'll do one more video to show you how to find the energy on each of the four capacitors. One quick check though, just make sure we did this correctly. The voltage across each branch should equal the voltage of the supply. So 60 plus 30 on the left side is 90, and 60 plus 30 on the right side is 90, so that looks okay. It looks like so far we've done this right. And that's how it's done.